welcome back to my channel and welcome to my new teeth. If you guys are only subscribed to me on YouTube and don't follow me on my Instagram or Twitter, which, by the way, you should do right now, y'all have know I got my teeth done. They're not like done done. I got like my front eight teeth done. The gaps have closed. They're kind of all just kind of perfected off and I'm so happy about them, but this video is not about that. I did say I'm either going to do an Instagram live or if you guys want me to do a full video on the experience and like answer all your questions on YouTube, let me know which one you'd rather me do. Just an Instagram live or a YouTube video let me know in the comment section down below right now but enough of teeth today's video is about testing new 2019 makeup revolution products you guys know I'm a massive fan of makeup revolution on this channel and anything I do with makeup revolution you guys seem to love I feel like we are a brand that like relate if you've never heard of makeup revolution they are a super affordable drugstore brand with like some seriously high quality and amazing stuff and are sort of renowned for doing dupes of higher end products with like just the same quality so i'm going to be going through a bunch of new products today which i have listed in the description down below if you guys are interested but before we get started on the tutorial on this look which i posted on my instagram and you guys loved it is like a mauve halo eye full coverage skin a little nude lip going on it is post notification bell shout out time and this week it goes to ellie louise 15x that says been waiting for this video notification bell always on love you lots girl love you too thank you so much for all your positive comments on my last video i'm really glad you guys are enjoying the content of 2019 so far so if you want to know what new products were used for this look and just you know the products used in general and how to achieve this look then please keep watching okay so because we are doing a halo eye today i feel pretty comfortable doing my skin first and we have some exciting new skin products to try first of all starting with primers so revolution came out with a few new different primers i think it was four in total but the two that i'm going to be using today are the hydrate primer and the blur primer so i'm going to be using two one just because so i can use two different ones for you guys and test them but two i feel that like the outermost part of my my face needs the kind of most moisture and I feel like makeup tends to last there a lot longer but sometimes just kind of on my nose and like on my chin area I do have the most open pores and I feel makeup doesn't stay as well so I'm going to be placing the pore blurring primer sort of on those areas down the center so that's a little tip for you guys if you wear just one primer and still struggle to keep makeup on in certain areas or you're just finding certain areas of makeup doesn't last very well then try mixing up with two different primers and I feel like because Revolution is so affordable I don't mind being that little bit extra when it comes to priming so my skin looks the best I love the fact that that hydrating primer feels really kind of like wet on the skin but has like a slight tacky finish to it that's when you know it's a good primer anything on the top is really gonna stick to that and my nose and chin area feel so smoothed out so so far even though I know I haven't put anything on top of them yet is a thumbs up from me. So next up is foundation, and the foundation itself isn't new, but the shade is. I am so excited because they've now come out with a bunch of new, like, point two shades. They had a lot of, obviously, like, 1, 1.5, 2, 2.5. There might have been some 7.5s. I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me on that. But they did include half shades. But now they have included 0.2 shades, which I feel is so amazing, considering my initial shade is shade 12, which is my well, was my kind of tan shade. But it was a little bit, like, not as tanned as I wanted it to be. But 12.5 was just, like, quite a big jump between them. So now they've come out with 12.2 which is like my perfect and favorite shade ever. I'm gonna do a little like comparison to show you by the way I am like as you can see tanned and my face is looking kind of tanned but obviously it's not as tanned as my neck but I promise you at 12.2 when I put also the concealer on is my perfect shade but let me just compare and show you the difference. So this is shade 12 which as you can see is actually still a really good match but this is 12.5 which you can see is definitely way too dark and then this is 12.2 so you can see it's just a lot more like 
golden. There's not too much of a drastic change between them both and I still will continue to use shade 12 but when I'm feeling a little bit more tanned like I am today, 12.2 is like that perfect shade that's not quite as dark as 12.5 but I feel like if I mix like 12 and 12.2 together that's like my ultimate dream shade. So I'm just going to go ahead and buff this into the skin. You guys know I've like raved about this foundation so 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 much as soon as it came out. I love the way that it looks on my skin. I've seen a few people say that they think that it goes a little bit cakey on their skin. That might just be because you're applying a little bit too much because a little does go a long way with this foundation. And I feel that this foundation looks the best in pictures. Like whenever I wear this and take pictures, I feel like my skin just looks amazing. I just love the way that this feels and looks on my skin. It feels so comfortable, yet really perfects my skin. But now on to concealer. I'm just gonna go ahead and do my concealer and cream contour off camera because there's no new products there. Uh, but I am still using Revolution if that counts. I'm using Conceal and Define Concealer and their stick foundation in the shade F13 to do my bronzing. And then I'll be back to show you another new product. Okay, so I also went ahead and did my eyebrows as well just because there was no new brow products there. And the next product is also not 100% new, but again, just a new shade. It is their new shade of their baking loose powder. This is in the shade Banana Light. I am so excited for this. I have actually done a little bit of work for them on their YouTube channel. I'm not sure if it's up yet, but basically going through all of their new shades of the new powders and also their pressed powders, which is basically this in like a compact pressed form. So if you're not actually into baking, that might be something you'd be interested in. I'm not sure if it's up yet. If it is I'm sure I will have retweeted it somewhere or something like that but I'm so excited about this you guys know I rave about their lace powder I've used it in a ton of videos before but it's slightly more of a pink undertone this banana shade is perfect for brightening underneath the skin and y'all know I love the formula of this it looks so it looks so uh, sorry my my phone's just gone up because I've just been tweeted by makeup revolution about the powder video that I've just done so it is already up if you want to see them in action. Now I'm all set, but like I said, this is just like the perfect pale brightening yellow shade. I can tell I'm just going to be using this all of the time. Now I'm just going to go ahead and contour my skin, so BRB. So as you guys know, I am obsessed with shimmery bronzer. So this is a new product for me. I'm not sure if it's like new in terms of like new in right now, but this is from their sister brand, Revolution Pro. So our first new product from a sister brand, and it is this. It's called their Revolution Pro Skin Finish in Golden Glare. So it really reminds me of my favorite skin finish, which is the MAC Mineralized Skin finish it in global glow so I'm just gonna be dusting this all around my face you guys know I love doing this I really just feel like it blends everything together because afterwards when you apply highlighter this just kind of gives a base golden glow and I'm really loving the formula of this as well so definitely a cheaper alternative next up is a blusher and again this is from their fairly new sister brand this is from obsession this is their isn't it peachy blusher palette you guys know when it comes to blusher I'm all about those peachy tones so this just screamed to me we've got four different shades of peachiness going on in here so this was perfect for me so I'm just gonna dip my brush into the shade hint which was the third shade in the palette and just apply that to the apples of my cheeks so now we can move on to highlighter. Unfortunately, I don't have any new highlighting products from them. So I'm going to skip through this part. But the one that I wore in the original photo was the Becky G Colourpop Luster Dust in Chimsy. And I did apply a little bit of the Marc Jacobs Glow Drops underneath as a base. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing again. And then we can move on to the eye makeup. Okay, so moving on to the eye makeup. Now the skin is complete. I did a halo eye for you guys. I never really do halo eyes and I forgot how much I love them. And you guys loved it so I'm going to recreate exactly the one that I did on my Instagram previously. So Revolution have come out with some new eye products which I am so excited for. So first of all they have come out with four new of their reloaded eyeshadow palettes. If you don't know what these are they're like their best selling palettes. There is 15 shades in each one usually like a mix of shimmers and mattes but sometimes they're just all mattes or whatever. Such high quality and I feel like these are only like four pounds or five pounds. As you can see we've got a variety in here but today we 
are going to be using the provocative one which is definitely more of like a blush tone pinky palette which I am obsessed with so I'm going to go ahead and do this now so to do a halo eye what I like to do is just make my way from light to dark but I do sort of take the middle shade all over the eye just so it will be there during the transition so I'm just taking three or four of these shades as I have pointed out and I'm just buffing them into the crease and all over the lid concentrating the darker colors on the outermost part so obviously we create that halo effect I am so impressed with those reloaded palettes like I said before the quality of them for the price always blows me away and I love all the colors in this one I feel like blush tones I don't know why I don't use them more you guys always tell me to experiment more with color and I should have listened but next up is such a cool product. This is their cut crease canvas. Because as you guys know, normally I just use concealer to cut a crease, but that normally involves like applying the concealer on the eye, getting a separate brush, doing whatever. This is just like the perfect product. It has like the smallest size brush. It's all included in this one product. And again, they do three other shades of this. This is like a pale yellow shade, but they do do a white a pale pink shade and a darker brown shade as you can see so hopefully it's something in there for everyone so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this in the center of my eye I tend to just kind of apply a main bulk of the product at the front center of my eye look up so I know where my crease is and then work around that we don't want to spread this product out too too much because we do want there to be a blend from light to dark so once we have done that which by the way I feel like is slightly less full coverage than a concealer and a lot more comfortable to wear on the eye because when I first saw that product I did think like kind of what's the point like I have concealer to do this or whatever but this is such a lighter weight formula but still has that pigment which I love of but next up I'm so excited for these they have come out with these eye glistens which are liquid eyeshadow one side and glitter on the other again three more shades actually wait there's four there's four there's four don't kill me there's four more shades to choose from from this we have more of a bronze a paler pink a white gold sort of champagne shade and more of a red as you can see with the corresponding glitters on the other side but today i'm going to be using the eyes glisten in yours truly which is a rose gold shade so i'm going to go ahead and take this side of the shadow first this is more of the liquid shadow side and just place this on the top i do like to use a brush just to pat over it just to make sure that everything is set in place and it's not going to move and it's all just kind of like flat on the eye and then i'm going to go back into the reloaded palette and take this shimmery shade right here just to blend either side you guys know when it comes to doing stuff like this I like to use a corresponding shimmer shade I feel like it just looks and blends the most naturally but then I'm going to go back to the glitter side of the product and just press that on the top to add a little sparkle back into this eye look but then finally I'm just going to press this dark brown into the lash line of the eye just so we can get ready for lashes and it all blends together okay so those are kind of the eyes pretty much complete I just have to pop some lashes on but after using all the products together I can safely say that this liquid eyeshadow was pigmented enough without using that cut crease product beforehand so just a little tip maybe don't use those two together you can use either one on their own for different things but I love the colors of these I love the concept of the liquid eyeshadows as well I just love this kind of color eye I feel like it actually really suits me ah surprise something that's not like bronze but so I'm gonna go ahead and pop some lashes on and apply some lip products because the only product left to try actually as well as a setting spray is a lip gloss so let me just do those things okay so these are the eyes complete with lashes if you want to know what lashes these are these are the lily lashes in miami i feel like they are the perfect sort of style for a halo eye just really rounded a little bit of drama but not too much so perfect for this look but now moving on to the lips i kind of wanted to play on the pale sort of rose gold pink that we had going on in the center feel free to go for maybe a more of a darker mauve nude or maybe even a purple if you like more of the color but i do have a new nude lip gloss that i wanted to try out this is from the iHeart Revolution brand. This is their iHeart chocolate lip gloss in the shade Cookie Dough, which I am so excited for. It looks so juicy, smells just like chocolate. Oh yes. Gonna make sure that I kind of like pat that in so it doesn't look too much. 
but I kind of did want to play on the pale pink, so that is kind of the look I am going for. I'm just going to go back in with my lip liner. But I feel like it looks really pale on camera, but in person it's actually really not that pale. But to set everything in place, I'm going to use a new fixing spray from Revolution. This is their Peaches and Cream Makeup Fixing Spray, which I'm so excited to use because it genuinely smells like peaches, which is one of my favourite, favourite scents. So, let's go ahead and spray, bitch. Oh my god, that smells so good! And I know they do loads of different scents of this. Pretty sure there's like a cookies and cream scent, like a berry kind of scent. So, go if you see this in store, definitely take a whiff and just and just and, dis <laughs> and decide which one you prefer. So this is the finished look, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it, showing you a bunch of new Makeup Revolution products. I've listed them all down below and linked the ones that are available right now to purchase. And if they're not available yet, hopefully this gives you a little bit of an insight into what they're like and gets you excited to try them. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also make sure to give it a thumbs up if y'all like my new teeth. And let me know in the comment section down below what you think about the video options in terms of explaining them. Let me know. But thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.